Hi, welcome to this final part of this tutorial showing how to create a Goku animation on Anime Studio. In the previous part, we refined the shapes and drew the character's details such as strokes and shadings. Now, we will animate the face and refine the animation. The main purpose of this part is to create the facial animation. For the facial animation, we will create the eyebrows and the jaw movement. We already have the eye movement and switch layers for the mouth. I only recommend smart bones for repetitive animations, but for one-time actions I don't recommend it. If your animation is 5 seconds and your characters will only blink once, you don't need to make a smart bone. Create smart bones for simple and repetitive actions. Activate the timeline and the action window to start creating the Joe smart bone. Create a new bone, decrease the influence to zero and parent it to the head bone. Set a bone constraint to limit the bone movement. Since the default position of the jaw is half open, we will need to set a closed position also. Then let's move on the eyebrow smart bone. When the smart bones are ready, you can just move on animating the face. We will now use the markers that we already set on the timeline. Then you go to the switch layer to select the different mouth shape. Animators usually follow an audio file, but since we are not using any audio file here, we will just make free mouth movements. When the mouth animation is done, you can just move on the jaw animation. The jaw will simply follow the mouth shapes. On frame 0, put a keyframe for the jaw smart bone and hold it for 10 frames. Then you go to the marker named Talk and you can move the bone to start the talking animation. Once the talking animations are finished, you can move on the eyes animation. Go to the blink marker and start switching layers to make the eye blink animation. In my case, I added another body movement at the beginning to make it more lively. After adding the eye blink movement, you can animate the eyes. It's up to you to decide if you will rig the eye pupil to a bone or not. In order to save time, I directly move the layer and then refine the vectors according to the movement. The next step is kind of funny because this is where we will make the character match the second image reference. There's actually a little face turn in the original animation. So in order to achieve it, we will need to move the vectors directly on the timeline. Once you're done animating the character, just add a new layer for the background. 
You can follow the same gradient colors as in the reference. To make sure that the character is completely finished, we will just draw the right hand. Regarding the rendering, at first, you will render the animation at a low resolution to see if you still have flaws. Then, you can go back to the project and make some more tweaks. Regarding this animation, after exporting it, I noticed that it was too fast. So I went back there and applied modification on the timeline to make the movements a little bit slower. Let's see the final render. Thank you for following this tutorial. If you have any question, feel free to post it in the comment section. And if you like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time.